excited for today's video. And I'm probably gonna do this a bunch today. I just straightened my hair and my hairs are, I like going like this a lot, but the hairs are sticky, so I kinda comb through it. Anyways, today's video is gonna be a little bit different than most. I'm trying to do more of the, okay, I need to stop with my hair. One second. All right, so today's video is a little bit different, like I said. Um, I'm trying to do more videos like these, more sit-down videos, more girl-to-girl -girl type stuff. So if you guys like these, actually comment down below and let me know so I can know to keep doing these. Or give it a huge thumbs up if you like it. Um, because I want to do more for these if you guys want them. They're really fun, super helpful. I find them helpful when I watch other people do them. So I thought, let's do this now. Before we get on to this video, make sure you guys subscribe down below on either side. I don't know which side it is. I just always do this side. And subscribe to my Clay Leia Vlogs channel because when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I am going to do... I think I'm gonna start posting two videos a week. So right now I only post one video a week, but I thought, you know, maybe I'll start posting two videos a week. You know, maybe Monday and Wednesday or, or something like that. So comment. Subscribe, I meant. Go and subscribe to that channel right now. Hurry, 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 go. We'll wait for all those people that went to come back. Now, now, let's get on to this video. Okay, so uh, I am a sucker for procrastination. Is that like procrastination? Procrastination. Pocra, yeah, that word. Um, uh, I tend to have a deadline and then just wait, and then the night before be like, <gasps> get done, get done, get done. But these are some tips that I have found, that I found other people have found that are helpful, that I find personally that are really, really helpful. And yeah, we're gonna share them. So the first one, the first thing that literally is the biggest thing that helps me, you can ask my parents, my co-parents. Not that one. Every single morning, I always ask, okay, what is the plan for today? I love working by a schedule, by a checklist. I have found this awesome planner by Jordan from Fun Cheaper Free. Go check her out on her plan planner. Ugh. It has the daily block, so it has each day. And instead of like a normal planner where it shows Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it goes by the week in like two pages and your different columns. I don't know how your planner is. That's how mine was. Um, it actually shows each page is a certain day and it is daily blocks. So the night before, I always go and before I go to bed, I try to figure out everything I didn't do to that day and I do it the next day or it's hot, just a second. Or I will just find things that I need to get done the next day and I write them on a block. So I'll have 7 a.m. I need to make breakfast. I'm gonna make this and this and this because it's my day today. So I'll have that written down and then maybe two hours later, maybe there'll be a break in between and then I'll be like, okay, I have to get all these emails sent, all these emails answered, answering brands, all those types of things. So I'm gonna set 30 minutes aside for them. And then I'll have two hours for filming. So I have everything that I need, the big stuff. So not just like do my makeup, do my hair, work out. Just the big things that I really, really need to focus on and get done and put those in a time block and then I can get that done. Out of breath, we need to work out. For some of you that may not have ones like these, checklists also really work. Um, they, it can be very differentiating, I think is the word. Um, for some people, lists might make them anxious, make them too anxious that they end up not doing anything. For me, um, I find that, again, the night before, I write down my main things I need to get done, not Make the list very small. Make the, not very small, but just your big things you really need to focus on. Make the list pretty minimal. Minimalistic. Minimum. Minimal. Yeah, those words. And just write your big things. So like I had said, make sure I need to make breakfast today because it's my day. Or answering emails. Getting these three videos done, these thumbnails done, stuff like that. So that personally has always helped me. Um, another big thing, reason why checklists always really help is because I check all those things off and then I feel super productive. I feel super motivated and I want to get more done and more done. And so that always helps me. It's almost like an adrenaline rush, kind of, not really. So I found that that really, really helps. Um, for, like I said before, for some people it might not. And so the next thing that I have is 
bribe yourself or have an end goal and reward. We're gonna talk more about the bribing and the reward. So I know for some people they work on a reward system. If you say have the list, like we mentioned in the first one, and you have to get all these things done, you're kind of like, I don't want to get them done. Having, have something, say, okay, at 3 p.m., I want to get all my stuff done and then I will be able to go and hang out with my friends or I can go and watch this movie. Whatever it is that you guys like, have that as an end goal. Now, again, for some people, you might end up rushing through it, get a crappy job done by 3 p.m., like you'll be done and you think it's good and it might not be the best. So, bribery in between. If I can get this much done by lunch, I will be able to go out and eat with my friends or um, just having those in between goals as well, or in between bribery, in between rewards can also really help. Um, just rewards in general. All right, another way to get yourself motivated, I have found, is, I do this a lot, is hyping myself up. So that could be with listening to a bunch of awesome music, maybe cleaning your bedroom, making sure it's really nice. That, for some reason, really helps me. But specifically music. I feel like music can really, really change your mood. So if you're, like, laying in bed, listening to some depressing music or some really slow music eating your bag of chips or your popcorn that can put your mood down but i have found if i listen to some upbeat music i'm jumping around dancing super happy it gets me really motivated gets me really happy and gets me in a more positive mood to go and do my productive things i need to get done that i probably really do not want to get done and honestly i would suggest making those playlists i am a very organized type person like it can really help because then you can go and, okay, I need to be more hyped up. These are all the songs that really hype me up. So you can play those and be hyped up. And you know what? Soon enough, you'll find yourself done with everything and then you get that reward that we talked about in the first one. Music, 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 music really helps. Another big one is turning your tasks more into goals, more into like um, challenges almost. For some people, gamifying things like my dad, is fun for them so it's like okay um if i can get this and this and this done before the time when i said boom like i beat the challenge or whatever so turn your list of things rather in rather than having an a chore list of all your things you need to do make it more of a challenge or make it more of goals like okay i can and think more on the positive side of it rather than um, I feel like turning the tasks into goals turns it more positive, and that's what you want. Honestly, it's all in your head about being more productive and stuff. And so turning your list from a chore list of crap that you really don't want to get done. I mean, we all have that. But turning those into goals or a challenge or gamifying it some way can really, really help because it makes you positive. Next is to change things up a tiny bit, you know? Working from the same desk, all the time can honestly be very boring because then you turn that space into like a oh this is where i have to get this stuff done or i always feel this way when i sit here you might not think that but honestly subconsciously you are thinking that making you be more meh about doing it so change up your change up your music playlist maybe you have a specific playlist you always listen to just shuffle all of your songs play different songs Again, preferably upbeat songs because those can really help unless you are studying, study songs, but shuffle it up. Mix it up a tiny bit, make it more spiced up. Also, your environment you might be around. If you're in your room, your windows, your doors are closed, your windows are shut, so you don't have much natural light coming in, that can also make you very lazy, very meh. So go outside, maybe go on a, maybe, go and sit outside on your grass and start working. I've done that multiple times and it really, really helps. And the natural light, I don't know what it is, but natural light can really, really help you. That's why I love like opening my curtains when I wake up. It makes me positive, makes me super happy and energetic to start the day. Open up all your windows. Try to go somewhere where there's a lot more natural light. That's why I love working upstairs in our kitchen. We have lots of windows opened. It's brighter, more natural light specifically. And it just really, really helps, really makes my mood better. Changing things up really, really can help. Um, another thing that really helps, this is just coming off the top of my head, is taking breaks. Now, a lot of people can use this against it and take tons of breaks, make that an excuse to not keep doing your work. You still need to do that work. 
but like we said having that end goal in having that end goal um, taking little tiny breaks because some people honestly people call it writer's block that's one way or one thing that happens or just you get really blocked and just stumped if that makes sense and can't work that happens to me sometimes too so honestly taking a little tiny break maybe going on a run maybe going and getting your favorite coffee your favorite smoothie in my case or just doing something really quick not so much wasting too much time because you still want to get that done by the time that you put but taking that little tiny break can really help really get yourself out of it because you might like be blocked in your head and just coming back to it you can be more refreshed more ready and ready to keep working and I've found that really really helps getting ready for the day this one honestly um, is a really big one a lot of people say like in the army they say the first thing you should do is make your bed my bed is not made but I mean here we are we're still being productive doing those little tiny things in the morning can really help so getting your bed made then there's a check on that and you've gotten that done you're like okay I did something today I feel more productive but also getting ready for the day if you're wearing sweatpants and sweatshirts and just more lounge clothes you're gonna feel more in lounge mode but getting ready for the day again that can start start your day with something productive okay I got ready for today there's another check not only are you checking little tiny things off to make you feel more productive but also getting ready looking nicer maybe getting into some better clothes can also make you feel a little productive and not so much lazy um, now to all you guys who work in lounge clothes whatever if that works for you great but sometimes if you're feeling super lazy or super unproductive and you want to be more productive honestly getting dressed put a little bit of makeup on if you do that I find that that really helps me sometimes it also changes my mood if I get ready I feel more pretty and uh, I just feel better and more positive um another thing this might sound super weird but something else that really really helps me <laughs> It's like watching inspirational type of videos, just like music. Um, like yesterday I watched, okay, don't judge, I watched this Disney Channel movie um, with my sisters because I was bored and I had nothing else to do. And uh, it was about this dancing, it was this dancing movie, it's called Feel the Beat. And you know, the feel of it was super empowering, super positive, just made me feel really upbeat, made me want to go and do stuff. So I ended up going and working out, ended up stretching, ended up learning some new like dances and stuff, which is something I actually like to do. It's not like I was doing that just because like, oh, I wanna be a dancer like her. Anyways, so um, honestly watching those types of videos, even just YouTube videos, watching a productive video like this one, they can really change your mood, change your mindset, help you to feel more productive, feel more in the mood to do that type of stuff. Um, and last but not least, we've got just do it. Um, Cause honestly, this one should be first because you can't do all those other, you need to just get started. You could be thinking like, okay, I'm gonna do this, we're gonna do this. But until you actually do it, it, you won't be productive. A lot of times I find myself just making lists of things I could do and then ending up not doing them. So until you follow through, then you can, all the other things will apply and you can apply them more and become really productive. But you need to do it. You need to just get out of your bed and go. You need to stop watching that video or something and just do it. Just do it, just do it. And that, my friends is everything I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it made sense and I hope it wasn't super confusing for you guys. Um, I hope this helps you guys, makes you more motivated. Come on guys, we can do this, we can do this. Go hype yourself up with that music. Go on that run or workout thing that you guys have whatever it takes but I hope you, this helped you guys and I hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys like it give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more like this give it a big 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 thumbs up or comment and I will make sure to do more videos like these make sure to subscribe to clearly of vlogs go subscribe help me get to a hundred thousand and I will start posting two times a week I'm so excited so hope you guys enjoyed this also make sure to go and check out my necklace and I'll see you guys later